Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, we just discuss streetwear. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the upcoming collaboration between Comme des Garçons and Supreme as they are collaborating for week 11 of Supreme's Fall Winter 2021 collection. But before I even start talking about Supreme, Homme de Garçon, Junior Watanabe, I've got to talk about something else. I've got to talk about you guys. <laughs> so over the weekend, uh, just before the end of the month, uh, you guys managed to help the channel reach the subscriber milestone of 3,000 130 subs. Uh, I asked if we could hit that subscriber milestone before the end of the month in the past couple uploads and you guys came through and smashed it out of the park and almost caused us to reach the subscriber milestone that I'm going to set today. And I just wanted to come out in this video and say thank you for the continuous support guys. We're just, we're climbing. <laughs> we're, we're, we're basically at 100k man. <laughs> we're doing really well. I wanted to thank the public private subscribers, all the subscribers. Uh, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you for helping me reach 3,130 subs. And hopefully with your guys' continuous support in November, we can hit the new subscriber milestone of 3,135 subs. Okay guys, let's start talking about this collaboration. So for week 11 of Supreme's Fall Winter 2021 collection, we are getting a collaboration with legendary fashion brand Homme de Garçon, which was founded by Ray Kobakuro, who also founded Dover Street Market. Now, uh, Supreme has collaborated with CDG many times in the past decade, uh, and it's normally collaborating with the sub-label of CDG, which is CDG Shirt, the one of many sub-labels of Comme de Garçon. Now this time round, for the Fall Winter 2021 collection, they're shaking it up a little bit. Instead of Supreme collaborating with CDG Shirt, this time round they're collaborating with the sub-label run by famous protege of Rei Kobukuro, Junior Watanabe. And that sub-label that they're collaborating with is literally just called his name and CDG. <laughs> it's literally Comme des Garçons, Junior Watanabe. And to be fair, if I was Rei Kobakuro's protege and I was given my own sub label, I would probably do exactly that as well. Now, you may know Junior purely based off uh, Kanye West shouting him out on uh, Kanye's 10th studio album, Donda. It was probably a you know big introduction to a large percentage of people that know his name. Uh, nothing to be ashamed about that. I was actually quite concerned about part two of the song because Ty Dolla Sign shouts out uh, Jun Takahashi and Undercover and I was like, oh no man, please. I'm a huge Undercover fan. I don't want heaps of people coming over. Well, I don't want heaps of the hype culture and the reselling culture to come over to Undercover because I struggle enough trying to find a size five for a lot of the pieces that I want from Undercover. So I'm sure there are a lot of junior fans that feel disgruntled by Kanye's shout out because of that reason and I can totally understand where they're coming from <laughs> but yes no shame in that you can definitely go check out Junior's older seasons and work and get educated that way uh, it seems to be that's what Supreme's take on this collaboration is so for the week 11 collab it looks like Supreme is going through the archives of Junior's collections that he's done under CDG pulling patterns and designs from those old collections and applying them to Supreme pieces. Uh, that's just what I gauged off of the Archives Dream, Dream uh, Dreams post that they did on Instagram as they uh, grabbed the photos from the runways of the old junior collections, uh, took, a, took the photos of the pieces that Supreme is taking inspiration from and then put it next to the collaborative pieces that are releasing this week. So if you guys want a more in-depth look at the original piece versus the Supreme collab redo for this uh, uh, collaboration, 
definitely go check out the post that I've linked down in the description section below. But yes, in today's video, we're going to be covering the collaboration with Junior Watanabe's sub-label of CDG, CDG Junior Watanabe. And I mean, it's going to be interesting. How we're going to cover the editorial, all the pieces releasing in it, the release details, and my thoughts and opinions on it, is of course by using a hype beast article. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for this collaboration. So here we are here guys at the hype beast article that we'll be using to cover this collaboration. It will also be linked down in the description section below if you guys want to check it out. Uh, we won't read the article because there's quite a bit going on here. I think I'm just going to cover the release details, then we'll cover the editorial, so people wearing the uh, collaboration, and then we'll cover the individual uh, pieces. That's, I think, just the best way to go about it. Let's start by covering the release details. So, the Supreme Junior Watanabe Comme de Garçon Man Fall 2021 collaboration. We'll see a global release available via the Streetwear Imprints website on November 4th, so the Thursday, 11 a.m. EDT time in the US, and two days later on the Saturday, uh, November 6th, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, obviously in Japan. <laughs> so yes, guys, it'll get all of its normal release details there. If you have any further questions about where it's dropping and what time or anything like that, uh, just leave a comment in that comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can or someone else will who's also looking at your comment as well. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Uh, that's all the release, deta release details for this collaboration. It's releasing this Thursday, November 4th. Uh, let's get into the editorial now, guys, and see how this collaboration looks uh, on body. Okay, so here is the editorial, guys. It won't have the full collection. It'll just have the big highlights uh, showcased on body, but we will cover the individual pieces after this. And to start it off with, we get this huge combination of pieces here. We have a all-over print or maybe it's individual patches i don't know it actually kind of does look like all over patches so maybe it's just a patchwork piece we have this patchwork green parka slash jacket with matching cargo pants <laughs> it's a pretty heavy duty piece and it features some co-branding uh on the left side here uh look the pants by themselves cool the jacket by themselves cool I don't know if I'd wear it as a full, you know, outfit like it's showcased here. But I mean, that's some pretty cool pieces. I'd love to know which season uh, the, this, these pieces were inspired by. But that is a awesome first piece, uh, first couple pieces to showcase to us. I hope the hood's detachable because I kind of wouldn't mind the piece just by itself. But, uh, well, without the hood, you know, maybe a nice collared section for the neck area. I don't know, we'll have to see what further images are showcased to us here. We get another version of both of those pieces, this time in a black color with the branding there as well. A crazy all over print hoodie as well as we can see uh, the hood showcased up here. We've got a Lucky Strike Athletes Supreme um, leather pea coat by the looks of it with the American College styled um, or Amer uh, American uh, sportswear styled font there and some crazy all over print pants there with uh, some text on them, which I think is one of Junior's big pieces that I always see on Instagram. Those uh, poem denim and stuff like that, if that is his piece. Again, I'm not hugely, you know, versed in Junior's work, but maybe that's one of his pieces that I've seen quite often. We've got the jacket showcased on the front here with no graphics on them. We've got, here is the all over text uh, pieces here. We've got a plaid jacket with some black pants, but we've seen there is some plaid matching pants as well. Uh, we've got just some subtle co-branding down the bottom left hand side there. Some graphic tees with, I can't really see what that is there but some kind of graphic on them and the pants are pretty simple uh, on the front as well we've got the patchwork pants making an appearance again in the green but this time around instead of the matching top half we get what looks like a mohair, uh, a mohair camo sweater 
I'm not a huge fan of mohair as a material. It's very hit or miss for me. But uh, yeah, I don't mind that sweater too much. I wouldn't wear it with the matching pants. You're uh, <laughs> ready to go hiding in the woodlands, definitely with that color scheme. But I'm sure that's a vibe for some people. We get the Gore-Tex uh, print jacket that we were just looking at the bottom halves for. So I'm assuming the pants must be Gore-Tex as well. Uh, this time it features uh, the print done in an, um, all these different colors on a white Gore-Tex jacket. It looks like we're getting a uh, sportswear, American sportswear text styled hoodie as well. We've got the pants being showcased again. We've got, is that denim? I can't even tell. It kind of looks like denim. We've got Go uh, the Gore-Tex jacket appearing in a different color. It's got it in the black with white text on it. And same with the matching pants. Very, very baggy silhouette there. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Don't mind some of the pieces. We've got, oh, it's a scuba diver. Okay, so we've got a scuba diver all over button up shirt here. I actually quite like that. I, I could see myself wearing something like that. I don't mind the button up shirt. Uh, we just got some normal pink pants on the bottom, but maybe it's the text pants on the back. We can't really tell from the front, but that button-up uh, t-shirt's quite nice. I quite like that. We've got a simple co-branded hoodie, which is simply Supreme Junior Watanabe, uh, Watanabe Comme de Garçon Man written underneath it. Uh, then we've got uh, the all-over text pant Gore-Tex pants there as well. We've got the... A zip up hoodie that I think was the athletic uh, hoodie that I was referring to, but I can't see the graphic on the other side, so I'm unsure if that is the case or if it's a totally different piece uh, entirely. It features a huge graphic on the shoulder there, and then some kind of like bug robot graphic down here with co branding on it. This is kind of a weird piece. I don't know if I'm really feeling that one. Uh, that one's giving me a bit of a miss. We've got this all over print hoodie and all over print pants. Miss me with the pants, but the hoodie's actually quite nice. I quite like the all over print on this one. The branding on the bottom left hand side there does feel a little bit off, but uh, I suppose you need to chuck it somewhere. But did it really have to go on the front left there? Could it have gone like somewhere inside the hoodie? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a bit much, but I do like the all over print. It is quite nice. We've got a striped t-shirt with that same bug robot looking graphic featured on the chest there. We've got, oh, okay, so here's the scuba diver graphic tee that we saw way back. I don't even want to go that far back, but uh, way back when, this time in a black with the gold uh, logos on the left-hand side there. And what looks like, is that an alternate color? It looks different from this, doesn't it? That looks like an alternate color of the pants there as well. And we have one more image which showcases a patchwork jacket as well. Well, there seems to be a series of very different pieces here. They've obviously pulled the inspiration from various different uh, not connected collections here from Junior's library of work with CDG. I mean, there's nothing here that really like speaks to me straight away that I'm like, I must have it. But maybe it's the, you know, the way that they're worn on body in this uh, editorial here that's kind of throwing me off. Let's go check out the pieces in the individual images and maybe I'll be feeling them more when we hit that. Okay, so here we are at the individual pieces and it look, kind of looks like I'm seeing some buttons here. It looks like you can detach the hood on it. And I don't know, man, that's kind of nice. I, it's a very thick, big looking silhouette. That's going to make you look a big looking fella. Yeah, okay, so you can detach it. I kind of like that. That's nice though. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with the hood, but just by itself, I like it. I like the different colors. I like the patchwork. The branding's nice. I like that it looks really faded over here on the left. That's a sick piece. It's probably going to cost like dumb amounts of money, but that's really cool. I really like that one. We've got it showcased on the back there. We've got some branding on the back right hand side. We've got the, uh, the hood showcase to us. Got it coming in the black. I kind of like it in the green actually. I think the green's speaking to me a little bit more. We're only getting it in two colors, but I can imagine it would have been a pain to make that piece with all the different patches and stuff. It's really cool though. I really like it. Uh, we've then got the uh, leather peacoat 
Nothing crazy going on on the front of it, but on the back we've got Lucky Strike Athletics XXL Supreme J. What? Oh, wait, is that? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Junior Watanabe Comme de Garçon Man. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't pick up on that initially, but there you go. Okay, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that, how it's like a sports team. Yeah, a very odd piece. Well, I, I can see myself wearing that. It's really easy. It's just a black leather jacket with yellow text on the back of it. I could wear something like that pretty easily. We've got the Gore-Tex pieces coming up next with the text all over them. That's got to be denim, right? It looks like a denim material. It's got to be. It looks like, um, yeah just has to be I look I'm not really a fan of those just because they're not really my silhouette and I can't detach the hood next we've got the plaid jacket uh, the workwear looking jacket I kind of like this the text on the back is a little bit loud but I could see myself wearing something like this I like I like the colors on this jacket as well it's nice uh, when acquired it is more important than life itself it is the immortal state of love the supreme virtue of all virtues when, a, uh, when acquired, it is, and then it just repeats. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, as much as I thought the colors were, you know, a bit much here. Uh, yeah, they're, whoa, they're way too much here. Okay, so we've got, uh, yeah. It coming in pink. Oh, it's nice with the black text, though, but I wasn't expecting that. That is so bright. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, do we have any other colors? Comes in a black. If you just want to tone down a little bit. The blue text on it, the black one's nice. I mean, all three colors are nice. I just was not expecting that pink. That pink is uh, very vibrant there. We've got the mohair sweater that we saw. Yeah, I don't know, mohair with camo. What an interesting combo. That's crazy. It only comes in one color too, that's it. You get it in the one woodland camo, guys. Yeah, I don't know. I might just go stick with my nice little flower Yoji Yamamoto Supreme Sweater. The Mohair Camo Junior Watanabe one? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but maybe you guys like Mohair, maybe you like Camo, maybe this is your thing. Yeah, not for me. We got the button-up shirt with the scuba diver on it. Ooh, and a pink version which... I guess shows some different photos of them picking up something off the ocean floor. I think I like the black one. I think the black one is definitely my thing. The pink one, maybe not so much. They're the only two colors it comes in. We've got the striped tee with the little alien dude on the front of it. I, is anyone feeling this? Alien dude on striped tee? I think that's the one that uh, definitely gets a miss from me. We've got the pants, of course. I, I think the pants are sick. These are dope. Look, look how wide they look. That's crazy. I like the green would be awesome to own. Even the black would be awesome. It's frayed. It's it's a sick piece. This is awesome. What else we got? We got are these no, I was gonna say these sweatpants, but no, this is look at it. You can, it's got belt loops. It's definitely denim. We've got the all-over print, like denim, potentially canvas. It kind of looks like denim though. Uh pants. Damn. Are y'all gonna wear pink? Like pink denim like this? This is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm game. I'll rock it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. But damn, it's loud. I mean, it, it, just the color itself is loud. And then you got this huge text on the back. <laughs> loud. Yeah. Comes with a couple of colors though. If you just want it in black with the blue or the plaid, the I think it was white, was it? You can get it in those. Yeah, with the white. Yeah, you can get it in those colors. I want to see some of Rock of the Pink ones though. That that would just be crazy. We've got uh, baggier pants for the Gore-Tex jackets there, with some more text on them. I'm not really feeling these. These aren't for me. We've got the zip-up hoodie with just like graphics all over it, and it is the one with the text on the side of the hood there. It's probably my least favorite piece. The alien dude pieces are they're not hidden for me. Yeah. Nah. The colors aren't getting much better either. Yeah, no, that, that, one, that one's a definite miss for me. We've got the all over print hoodies. I actually kind of like these. I think these are sick. Oh, and they come in subtle colors as well. Okay, so you can get these all over floral print ones. We can get the toned down black bl or blue ones. Look, give me them all. I honestly want all four. I kind of like the toned down ones. 
and this one the most but i mean it's fun i can see myself wearing stuff like that that's cool and then we'll get the matching pants this is where you kind of lose me here i i i don't think i could see myself wearing cotton sweatpants that uh have this all over print on them i i yeah i don't usually wear sweatpants in a lot of outfits i usually wear like more fitted stuff so uh yeah even just the silhouette itself is a bit of a miss for me we've got okay i mean this is all right we've got the alien dude reappearing for just some basic tees with him on yeah okay i'll get around this one i didn't like the striped ones i didn't like the zip up hoodies but i'll get around him on just like a basic tee oh it only comes in two colors you gave three colors to the wacky hoodie and multiple colors to the striped one but you only give two to the basic tee damn come on man We've got the scuba diving tee, um, or sorry, scuba diving graphics appearing on just a tee. These are pretty easy to wear. Comes in two colors. I got no issues with these. And then we've got the backpack, the huge accessory that's releasing in this collaboration. I, I'm just not gonna wear a backpack like this. I wouldn't wear it in outfits. I wouldn't wear it anywhere really. I just wear enough outwear pieces where the amount of stuff that I need carried has a pocket. Don't think I need a huge patchwork backpack like this. Uh, I'm assuming the rest is just accessories. Okay, so we got some caps. We've got some caps featuring the scuba diving graphics on them there. Uh, and whatever the hell this is, I'm still trying to figure that out. It actually looks like trees or b bushes, so I'm completely lost on what that second graphic is. I don't mind these either. These are all right. We've got some beanies with embroidery on them and featuring the alien dude again. You can miss me with that. And then we got some keychains. Okay, I'll come. Yeah, the keychain's nice. The keychain's nice. I I'd get a keychain with the little fella on him. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah, wow. Okay, so that is the whole collaboration. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it was kind of the same graphics and pieces just recycled many times on different silhouettes like basic tees like this or then a striped tee version or then a hoodie version with some other crazy graphics so it really is just like the same five pieces applied to various different uh silhouettes but i mean were we expecting any mon anything monumental from a supreme collaboration i mean my expectations are pretty low <laughs> but i mean say that uh, well yeah the collaborations have been a bit hit or miss this season this one is it a hit is it a miss? I mean, realistically, it hasn't got me jumping out of my seat. Like, I'm not like, oh my God, I need one of these pieces from the collab. Um, the only piece that's like really got my interest is maybe like the black button up shirt here and the, uh, oh, and no, actually I can think of three. I can think the button up tee has got my interest. The workwear looking jacket here has got my interest, especially in the black. I think the black's quite nice. Uh, but also in the plaid color as well uh, and the green patchwork jacket at the start I, I wasn't a huge fan of the Gore-Tex ones those ones you can kind of miss me with but the Gore-Tex uh, yeah the green patchwork jacket that's nice this looks sick um, I also don't mind the leather jacket it's not too crazy it's not too out there I could wear something like this uh, yeah I mean it's all right to sum it all up the Junior Watanabe Supreme Fall Winter 2021 collaboration. It's all right. If I wanted Junior's work, I'd probably actually just go buy his own work and not this collaboration. But there are some pieces here that I could see myself wearing. Uh, maybe you guys are feeling more strongly about it. I could very much skip out on this collab and not feel like I'm missing out a lot. But then there is uh, some pieces I'm like, yeah, okay, I could wear that. How do you guys feel? Are you like, yes, this is a must have collab. I absolutely love it. Or are you like, this is forgettable. It's horrible. I'd rather just do solo work with CDG and not this collaboration. That's totally fair. Let me know how you guys feel about this uh, Junior Watanabe, Comme de Garçon Man Supreme Week 11 collaboration down in that comment section below. Well, that's really all there is to be said about the Supreme Junior Watanabe Man Comme des Garçons collaboration that is releasing in week 11. It's releasing this Thursday, November 4th or the 6th if you live in Japan. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to be scrambling to pick anything up this week from this collab. I am going to be chilling out, 
I bought a new undercover piece recently, so I'm going to be happy with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's. there's nothing here that's really got me on the edge of my seat and making me want to, you know, rush to the bot services to get it uh, proxied down to Australia. But maybe you guys feel differently. Maybe there's some people out there that are looking to pick up something from this collaboration this week. You know, maybe you're really feeling it. If you are going to be picking something up from this collaboration, I want to hear from you. What are you going to be picking up from this week 11 collab? Uh, let me know what you're going to be picking up and what color you're picking it up in down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme collaborations, upcoming Supreme drop lists, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And the best indicator you can give me to say I want more content like this covered on the channel is of course by subscribing to the channel. We're trying to aim for the new subscriber milestone of 3,135 subscribers. Hopefully with your guys continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of November. But that's all I got to say about this collaboration, guys. Good luck to all you guys out there looking to pick up a piece from this collab this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color you are looking for. But until the next Supreme collaboration, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video, guys, I'll catch you later.